Apple looking set to expand in its first major new category since Apple Watch in 2015. And according to a report from Bloomberg, a both augmented and virtual reality headset could be even more ambitious than you had imagined. Yahoo Finance tech reporter Dan Halley is here to give us the latest on that device. And Dan, what do we know? Yeah, this seems to be a, a, a new development in how we're expecting the a new headset to come out. Uh, really, this is going to be, uh, as you said, one of the biggest products that Apple's launched since the Apple Watch. And uh, according to this report, there's going to be multiple levels to it that help differentiate it from offerings from the likes of Meta. Uh, chief among them, there's not going to be any controllers involved. Instead, it's going to rely on cameras on the inside and outside of the headset that can see what you're looking at. And then when it recognizes that, uh, sees what your fingers are doing uh, and allows you to access things like buttons uh, in apps to really interact with things. That's rather than using uh, a controller where you would move around a, a mouse pad-esque kind of uh, device uh, and then use buttons to uh, physically click on an item. Uh, so this is a big change than, from what we're seeing in other areas. Uh, Microsoft's um, HoloLens had a similar idea uh, where you would look at something and then move your hand to kind of try to grab it, though it was pretty, uh, you know, spotty at times, uh, at least when I used it in some testing. So, uh, you know, it's hard to tell how accurate this would be, but if Apple's going to be going to market with this generally uh, for $3,000, then you, you got to imagine that it's going to be pretty up to snuff when it comes to uh, the capability there. And then they're also reportedly working on a less expensive version around $1,500. That's around where Meta's top of the line headset starts right now. Uh, and really this comes down to, you know, whether Apple is going to go full force into this or not. They've done years of research on this topic. Uh, and so, you know, there are times where they've thought about coming out with something and then didn't. Uh, but at this point, it seems as though this is definitely on schedule for this year at some point to be released to the public. Dan, Apple also facing some competition over in the payment space as big banks, Bank of America, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo team up to create their own virtual wallet. What can you tell us? Yeah, this is going to be something that you would use online. Uh, and it really is a, a way to compete with the likes of Apple Pay uh, and PayPal. Uh, you know, Apple Pay has kind of exploded in recent years. It, it was It's a slow burn, though. It started off uh, initially very slow with, you know, few people really jumping into it. Uh, and now, you know, a, a majority of iPhone users seem to use Apple Pay to some degree. Uh, I frankly use it every time I go to the store, uh, anytime I check out from, uh, you know, Grubhub. Uh, anytime I go and get on the train, I use it. So it's something that's become a part of my everyday life. Uh, and I think a lot of other people can say that as well. The fear here, though, is that Apple is getting too powerful in the space. Uh, they do uh, make money off of fees through each transaction, though the amount is minuscule compared to what they make on things like iPhone sales. Uh, but these banks obviously don't like Apple jumping into their territory. Don't forget, Apple also has a credit card with Goldman Sachs, and they're working on a buy now, pay later uh, program. So, you know, obviously they see Apple as a threat and want to kind of cut that off. Whether or not people are going to be interested in doing that, though, that's really the big question. Apple Pay is so popular because it's so easy to use. Mm -hmm. You just double tap your power button uh, and or the, the side button on your phone, and it'll pull up your credit card uh, and allow you to pay with either Face ID or Touch ID. So this is going to be up in the air for uh, how successful this platform is. 